I am down at my shop. I have an air handler to change out in a couple days, and I got to prepare it for duty. ARUF 42C14 from Goodman or Goodmana. Uh, three speed motor, I believe. Uh, just a basic air handler. Smart frame, which is kind of cool. I like the smart frame ones. So I'm going to get it up on the uh, table here and take a look at it and take it apart and show you guys what's inside. This is the Goodman ARUF smart frame out of the shipping, we'll say the crate and the little wrap they put around it. Uh, this is access to the coil section right here. You can see the suction line, liquid line, all your little stickers, your warning stuff. Do not touch electricity or you'll die. This is the heater selection. You can put a mark next to whichever heater you have. Mine's 10KW. And these take a little bit different heaters than the older air handlers. The older air handlers took HKR heaters and these take, I want to say HKS, I think it is. Newer version. The HKS stands for 50% more expensive than HKR. There we are. I'm going to open up the doors because I have to flip it. And we'll see what's inside. This is the evaporator coil. As you see, it's aluminum now. Uh, they've actually changed the design of the coil. It looks more like if you're familiar with the train style, like TEE or TEC, I think were, or TWE. They had the old metal coil pans up at an angle. It looks a lot like those. Um, actually, looks it's a vast improvement. It's very easy to switch from left hand to right hand. Which I think they, they all come in left hand now. They used to be all right hand. But it's, it's real easy to switch them. It's our three speed blower. See in there? Fresh off the boat from China. And here's our air handler controls compartment. Hadn't put the heater in yet. If you don't have a heater, you'd wire it up right here. But we do have a heater, so we're going to take that off. The only other controls we have are the transformer right here and down. You can't really see it. Is the blower control board. It's very similar. I did a video called Changing Blower Speeds, I think it was. And it's uh, basically the same board. It has a fixed delay. And then you have three speeds to choose from. One, two, three. Right here. And we're set on low right now, but we'll adjust it as needed. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to flip this coil over. It's a lot like the old train air handlers. Let's see, it's real easy. All you gotta do is come up to the air handler. Take it out. Flip it over. It's about as easy as it gets. And there's still room. There used to be, when you'd flip these Goodman air handlers over, or you made them counter flow, or whatever you were doing, there was no longer room for the filter rack, but there is room for the filter rack on these, which is nice. So, pretty easy, about as easy as it gets. On this particular air handler and most of Goodman's air handlers, if you do downflow, you have to insulate the drain pan on the bottom. That's what I've done here. It's hard to see. There's insulation on the drain pan. And it basically is like foam tape. Uh, they sell little packets of it, but usually I just uh, kind of use my own because uh, it's basically the same thing as foam tape, the same as you would do with your pipes or certain weather stripping. So I insulate the bottom of the drain pan so it won't sweat, thus keeping water off of the blower motor and out of the electrical compartment. I'll also have a free stat on this unit to keep it from freezing up and a float switch to keep it from overflowing since it is down flow onto the electrical components. And the next thing we'll do is take a look at the heater. On Goodman Air Handlers, the heater is mounted here. There is a baffle plate you take off. There's four screws you take it out and slide the heater into it. I will show you how it looks once it is installed. It's pretty simple. It slides right into the opening. You screw it back in the same openings. And we can take a look at the elements uh, from the end of the air handler here. This is our HKS heater. L1 and L2 are tied in up here. It's sort of like a little distribution point for the wiring. Uh, your main wires come in here and it's separated here into the various uh, places that the L1 and L2 distribute to. Limit switches right here. L150, so a trip out at 150 degrees. Over here's a stack sequencer, 10kW, sort of standard fare for the heaters. On the back side, you see 
there's the two rows of elements and then a specialized plug for this particular air handler that will plug into where the leads are if you don't use a heater you unplug this section it slides off you slide in the heater plug so let's install it here is the HKS heater installed get a good look out of there you have our directional arrow uh, always follow the directional arrow and the direction of airflow um, I'm not quite sure what happens if you reverse it it didn't look like anything would be wrong but who knows so just follow directions that's what I say here's our plug wires coming out of the heater to the rest of the unit we have our L1 and L2 black and red we have a purple high voltage wire going to the blower relay that is coming from the heat strips as you see down here on top of the sequencer we have our purple wire that is going in to power the blower in the case of there's no blower call from G 24 volts the heat strips are on this will power the blower we have our white and brown our brown is unused as you see it comes into the top of the plug but it doesn't go out the other side so brown is unused white's W2 that'll go to the sequencer down at the base of it 24 volts and then you'll have blue is your common also going to the sequencer so it'll pull in and turn the heat strips on and that's about it for the heater I'm gonna seal it back up and I have to make a base box for the unit okay our little base box is done here this will be our counter flow box for the air handler here um, so I'm all prepared for the job the filter will just sit in the rack at the back and it'll draw from a closet so we are ready to roll. So come Friday I will install this and we'll be good to go.